James 2, 9. Ede prosopalapteta hamartian ergasesta elen kamenoi hupatu namu hos parabatai. Translation. But if y'all practice favoritism. Right, notice the second person plurals here. Uh, oftentimes, an English translation prevents people from knowing whether uh, an individual or a community is addressed, but here, clearly, it's the community. Uh, the plural at the end makes that clear also. But if y'all are practicing favoritism, you are committing sin, right? You're doing sin. And then we have this participle here, probably a participle of result. Let's render it that way. With the result that you're convicted or you're reproved by the law as transgressors. As Vlaco says in his Egg and Tea volume, it's clear, James argues, that partiality is criminal according to God's holy law to treat poor people uh, differently, to treat rich people with, with a favoring, fawning partiality, and to treat poor people with dishonor is to break the law, which says to love your neighbor as yourself, and to thus be a transgressor, a criminal according to God's holy law. Let's look at this word up here, prosopalapteta. It's a mouthful. This is actually a hopox, a hopox legomena. It only occurs one time in the New Testament, though we had a related noun form just a few verses back. If you look at it, it's made up of two parts. It's You can see this is coming from Lambano here, and this is coming from the word prosopon, the word for face. Literally, to receive the face to take the face. You may know in the Old Testament there's an idiom to lift the face. That is to look at someone and look at their face before you make a judicial pronouncement. It's like, oh, now, let's see, who is it? Oh, okay. Um, let's see, now I'll, my judgment will be different. So it's, it's to show a favoritism to someone on the basis of different things, to lift the face or to look at the face, to receive the face of that person. Let's look at this elenkomenoi very quickly. It comes from the, the lexical form elenko, to convict or to reprove. And we've seen that when we have a word that has a men morpheme in it, we think about men in the church, they're passive, they often don't do their part, they sit in the middle of the pew, right? And so when you see that men morpheme, it's probably a middle passive participle morpheme. And yes, this is. So this is, and within the context, it's passive. This is just a present passive participle. And that ending tells you this is nominative, masculine, plural, and it's functioning within the context as an adverbial participle of result.